and we are live. We are actually live. Can you believe it? Live on the last Thursday of January of 2022. Who knew? But praise God, we live to see another day. Welcome to the Indigo Inspire live show here, live on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us for an incredible night of worship tonight. Our special guest is uh, award-winning international artist. Yes. Lewin from Canada is in the building. So I want you, I, I'm doing, this thing is going to be so special and annoying. I've already came with mine. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you were, if you have one, grab one and be prepared to go in because this is going to be a, some uplifting music tonight. So uh, in the meantime, housekeeping, make sure you share this link from Facebook as well as YouTube. Go tell a friend and tell a friend. And tonight we are welcoming once again, my sidekick, buggy riding friend, Sherwin William, Sherwin, Sher, Sherwin from Gospel Music Buzz. With all three Z's, with all, with all three Z's. Z's, all the things, all the Z's. All <laughs> the Z's. What yeah. is happening, Patrice? How are you doing? Oh, good, good. I'm looking forward with expectancy tonight. Yes, yes it's going to be exciting for sure. It's going to be exciting. So, um, hey, we got some... Uh, our girl Angela Moss pulled pulled it off for five for five weeks. Yeah, yeah, five five strong weeks, man. I mean, that was um, that was something for those five weeks for sure. Yeah, and just a quick little roundup on that. So, like on coming up on the national chart, I know Karima was there last week. Yes. She was there for two weeks, so she bumped down to number two, and then CC Wine and stepped into number one with uh with belief for it on the national charts mm -hmm. and then kind of sliding back down to the uh the gospel recurring charts which is oddly enough cc's number one in the national on the gospel recurring chart bb's number one there on recurring for in jesus name <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say something i'm gonna be quiet Go ahead. So he's <laughs> there and then on the indicator yes our good friend ernest ernest Yes, Ernest yeah. is there at number one in the indicator. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, he, he, congratulations, Ernest. Congratulations. Ernest, congratulations. Ernest, Ernest is there, and Angela dropped down to uh, to number three. And yeah, and Ernest, man, yeah. Ernest is celebrating this year. He's celebrating 20 years in the ministry. You know, he was, he was sharing and talking about, you know, he was in the military for a bit, and then when he came out and he did the transition, into ministry there was always that you know hey if i'm going to do this you know for god to show up to me because i'm not going to be doing a regular job and he was sharing part of it recently in a life and he was like yeah man 20 years started going through it and just never looked back and god has provided every single step of the way so it's always amazing when you hear those interviews you know when you hear those uh <clears throat> testimonies yeah absolutely and i mean he is he's consistent in terms of the sound that he brings and just the worship that he brings too. So congratulations, seriously, Ernest. We got to get him on the show. We got to make sure we get him on the show. Yes. So in the meantime, we're going to take a short little break and we'll be right back with the one and only Jennifer Lowen. My name is Hassan James. I'm the editor-in-chief of Root Magazine, and music is my life. Rep your section. And that's the one and only Mr. Root himself, Hassan James from Root Magazine, who is the brand ambassador for our apparel line, Rep Your Section. Yes. And if you want more information about that and how we are supporting outreach initiatives globally, please go to shopindigo.com. We would appreciate your support and particularly uh, those that we are blessing uh, with clean drinking water and for team mission projects. They are eternally grateful. So right now, we gonna, uh, without further ado, we're going to bring in woo, this woman, this girl, this woman, this woman, this anointed woman, uh, yes, Jennifer, yes. into the virtual studio. Jennifer. Jennifer, what's happening? Pastor God Jennifer. Bless you. God Pastor bless Jennifer, you. let me make sure I put the pastor in front there. Yes. Oh no, you don't you don't need to. I'm simple. <laughs> Listen. And she's looking beautiful and also saying for her birthday. So Thank happy you. birthday publicly here. Yes, that on tomorrow. social media. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so she's got her birthday glow and her thankful glow on. And uh so Jennifer, <laughs> literally. 
I mean, um, you, you are really coming out heavy with this new project mm -hmm. in a way that, um, you know, you, you have worship songs and you worship experiences through song. You, you pull people in almost mm -hmm. on the female version of a William McDowell. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, you, yes. Sherwin, nice. am I exaggerating? Yeah. 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 I was trying to put my, as I'm listening and I'm listening over and over, I'm like, you know, it's definitely an experience. It definitely brings you in. I want to just take you through all the phases of worship, but I think you kind of said it right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, wow. Praise yeah. God. Honestly, that project, it, uh, the, the, everything that probably could have went wrong, went wrong in order to, for us to really capture the sound. So mm -hmm. when I heard even the first takes, I was shocked. I said, this could only be God. <laughs> mm -hmm. it could mm -hmm. only be god he really really helped us and the the main thing is and that's why i don't even have like i didn't do a lot of hoopla around around the album like coming soon and all that stuff because i just figured that this sound is probably not for everybody um mm -hmm. it's for those who really want to worship for those who really want to encounter god on a higher level than just hearing good music yeah yeah and oh no you you have achieved that and, and, and Amen. More. so I mean, I, even tonight, you know, Sherry and I was saying when we came on, uh, we, we came in here with expectancy just wow. to be able Praise to share, you know, you know, mm. obviously the interview, but also being an opportunity to share the music um, that you put your heart and soul into and your own personal yeah. experience into so that people that will hear it tonight, uh, just a couple of songs we're going to play, just a short snippet of them. Um, and those who will continue to hear it on the replays that they will literally really be blessed. So be we're blessed. excited to hear you. Absolutely. Amen. So I'm going to turn it over to my my co-host, Shirley. Jennifer, Jennifer. Man, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to think back about the first time I saw you online, I think. And, and it had to be, I believe I saw a clip. And this person was just doing good old-fashioned evangelism on the street corner, just <laughs> out there, just doing it. And I was like, ah, let me click it. Let me dive a bit farther. So kind of just starting with that, you know, eventually, oh, wow. you know, you coined it Worship Without Walls. But yes. just, you know, tell us about Worship Without Walls, you know, tell us about that. But even before we jump into that, just kind of taking us mm -hmm. back to your own experience you know in church in ministry where you felt that call upon your life to even head in that direction well to be honest i didn't get the call for evangelism until weeks prior to the first time we started um mm. that wasn't something that was on my radar at all you know uh, god called me into the office of the levite when i was around 18 or so and mm -hmm. i've just been leading worship serving in my lo local church since then and I, I was honestly content with that. You know, a lot of people were saying to me, oh, you need to record, you need to do this. From the time I was like maybe 21, 22. But I was just not interested. I just didn't want to, I just wasn't interested. I was just trying to get away from it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, but in 2019, the call got stronger. But fast forward to uh, Worship Without Walls, I'll tell you exactly how it happened. Um, my team and I were out uh, outdoors shooting the video for Stay With Us, one of my singles. And that video is outside and, you know, it's a beautiful place. Uh, it's this place in Toronto called the Scarborough Bluffs. Beautiful place. And as the music was playing because we were shooting the video, people who were passing by were like, oh, my goodness, what's that? I, I got goosebumps. And, and mm. before we knew it, there was a crowd of people around us and the spirit oh, of God was wow. like, pay attention. And I was kind of like, pay attention to what? <laughs> I'm, mm. just, I'm just out here trying to shoot my video, you know, and um, but they kept coming. And then we would even have to like pause and minister to the people who were hearing ah. the sound but couldn't understand wow. what yeah. it is that they were feeling. So he was like, again, mm -hmm. pay attention. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I went home that that night, he was like, This is what I've called you to do. You know, you're not just a worship leader, you open portals. So mm -hmm. when you know, when the mm -hmm. when they when they hear the music, when they hear the singing and the worship, the portals are open and literally their wow. hearts are tenderized before God. So I didn't know what I was doing. I called some one, like two of the people that I know. I said, look, God told me to go on the street corner. I got a, I got a little speaker and mic from Amazon. And they're like, okay, we're going to roll. Right. That's how it started. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, well, we can't go empty handed. So I said, you know, I'm going to order some Bibles and uh, you guys get some tracks and we'll put it together. And then when they come, I guess we'll give it out. I don't know. Anyway, so we get on the street corner. I start worshiping 
and people at the bus stop are crying and so my team is now moving in to minister to them and and you know minister to them Mm -hmm. and witness to them and you'd be amazed a year and a half later there's people now on my team who first encountered christ on the corner wow (laughs) so it's a full circle thing and you know lots of more people have gotten involved we're giving out bibles on a weekly basis i mean hundreds of bibles and god honestly when he gives you a vision he will send a provision because Mm -hmm. these things are not free but we've been Mm -hmm. able to purchase what's necessary to give to the people back to school time we put together care packages for the kids when it's cold sometimes people come with donations and we give out boots whatever we can you know because the reality is there's a lot of people who will not come to your church if you invite them they won't mm-hmm. and i true. can't blame yeah. them because the charge wasn't for them to come the, the charge is for us to go um, uh, so yes. we've just yeah. been taking the gospel to the corner and people are hungry they really are I was terrified at first because I was like, they're going to look at me like I'm crazy. But you'd be surprised at how thirsty they are just for a message of hope, just to hear that somebody loves them. And mm-hmm. I tell you the truth, in, in Toronto, it gets very cold. And I find on the coldest days, sometimes our response is even the greatest because they're really? looking at us wow. like, you guys must be crazy. So Jesus must be real. <laughs> mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Jesus must be real for you to be out here in the cold. Um, but we give God the glory because souls are being touched for his kingdom the knowledge of christ is being spread and yes. it's it's really all about just him being seen so like even my team and i we're not all from the same church we don't really lead with come to my church we just mm-hmm. lead with the love of christ and the message yeah. of the kingdom yeah because yeah. i i'm over it everybody's over it let's just let's just stick to christ <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and the fact that you're giving yeah. them the scriptures you're giving the word in their hand and so, you yeah. know, you're not the Holy Spirit. You're just a conduit to share that word. Exactly. And the Holy Spirit is going to take it from there. So he's going to take, he's it, from take there. it all the way. Yeah. And so a, a beautiful story, again, tied into that is once I started street ministry, I, my, I, and I was telling my dad, you know, what we're doing. He got so emotional. And I was mm. like, okay, dad, easy. Uh, but he's like, I don't remember if I told you, but when my dad first migrated from Jamaica to Canada, one of the first things he got when he came here was a Bible from the citizenship office. Mm. And a, my dad read the Bible and got saved at home before he found wow. the church. He wow. said when he read the Bible, he was so compelled and the spirit of God was just revealing himself. And then mm-hmm. after he got saved at home, then he found the church. So mm-hmm. I was like, look at what a full circle moment. Wow. Because I, I know for sure anybody who really gets this Bible and gets to read it and the spirit of God starts working on them, what will happen to them cannot be undone. Ah, uh, yes. Cannot yes. be undone. Yeah. 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 His word will not come back void. It won't. It will yeah. not. And so and, we're just believing in God yeah. for a harvest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going to say, even with that too, because again, I'm originally from Guyana, South America. And, you know, mm-hmm. just seeing that, that's not, that's something we would have seen, you know, growing up much younger, you know, everyone taken to the street corner, you know, just standing there and ministering. Like, I haven't seen that in years. So when I saw it online, yeah. I was like, wow, that's that's refreshing. And, you know, and then yeah. you're out there, you're singing and ministering. And it's for some of the clips that I've seen, I'm like, wow, this is this is it. This is no joke. She's, <laughs> she's serious. Yeah. We're yeah. doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. And and it's funny because we got I got the instruction in the summer. And then so when it was getting cold now, it's kind of like so... Uh, Am I still doing this or what? So I haven't got the instruction to stop. So we just keep going and, and that is so good. And even when I'm not able to be there, there's still a team out there. So, you know, the gospel is still going forth every week. Yeah. So so no, kind of take us back then to the moment where you where you got saved. I mean, you know, you were acting, you know, as a conduit for others to come to Christ and for others to experience mm. their moment and so forth but take us back to your moment like what was that moment like for you when you became saved and when you realized like you know hey this is the path i want to go down versus anything else that my friends or family member or anyone else might have been doing at that time but that you know that moment where you give your life to christ talk to us about that moment to to be honest you know when you're born and raised in the church you have so many moments (laughs) (laughs) there's so many times where you're like oh yeah you know i'm getting saved today but I can remember, I think it was around, like, truly, I've made this decision now. 
and the real decision. So I, I mean, I made decisions when I was like nine, 10, 11, but I mean the consciousness. Mm -hmm. It happened when I was in high school because I was trying so desperately to fit in. You know, I tried to go to the school dances. I, I, I tried to just be a part of the in crowd and it just never, it was not working. It, it, nothing I did would allow me to fit in. And so, you know, I was just, I was in a weird space. I felt like I didn't fit in at church. I didn't really fit in at school. And, and I felt this tug and what was happening to me was, it was as if I was going to sleep with earbuds in my ear. I was going to bed and I could hear music so loudly. It was wow. almost, dare I say, almost torment, you wow. know, trying to, to, trying to sleep and music is just so loud. And the spirit of God is ministering to me through music. I'm hearing all kinds of things. And I, I said to the Lord, you know what? I, I don't really feel like I even have a choice. But mm. I'm telling you now that I am choosing to, to serve you and I'm choosing to answer the call because I know that whatever, whatever is out there is not for me. Have yeah. I fallen? Many times. Yeah, yeah. But nonetheless, there's always this tug. There, there's always been this pull mm. that pulls me right back into his presence and pulls me right back into the place of ushering other people into his presence. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and so I would say it was in my late teen years where I was like, yeah, it's a wrap. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to follow the Lord. Hmm. What, what have you, how, what have you learned about yourself through this experience? You know, with this without walls ministry from the time that you decided, okay, I'm going to do this, but what have, what changes have taken place in you that have really just opened up your eyes even more as, about the kingdom of heaven? You know, to be honest, I feel like worship without walls changed me in a way that I never expected. And I realized that he didn't just send me out there for the souls, but he sent, the, sent me out there for myself as well. Because mm. it showed me that all of the fluff, all of the, the nonsense, the hypocrisy, the showmanship, the, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. When you yeah. see someone broken on the side of the road, someone who is saying that, you know what, I, I thought about killing myself today, but now I'm not mm. gonna kill myself. Yeah, all of that changes everything. So now I'm, I'm yeah. so not, although I do want to advance in my career, mm -hmm. it's just not my main focus because I feel like if a, if a soul is not being touched and their, their eyes are not being turned towards the Christ and the kingdom, then what is the point? Absolutely. There's no point. Um, then yeah. we're just regurgitating yeah. the same message one to another. And I'm not interested in being a part of a country club. I'm not, mm -hmm. that's a waste of time. You know, but it's all about the glory of God being seen here in the earth realm and his kingdom truly coming on earth. Yeah. Uh, so it has definitely changed me. It has just shifted my mind from things that don't matter. Hmm. Because I'll sing with the same intensity on the side of the street as I do on a stage with haze and, and, and moving lights. Yeah. Because Absolutely. at the end of the day, it's really the souls coming to the knowledge of Christ that matters. Very much so. Very much so. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to uh, take a, a music break so that people can get an, an, a, a fresh perspective on where you're coming from musically. And we're going to go back to 2020. You can't believe it's been two years, but we're going to go back to 2020 to everything, <laughs> to everything. And uh, uh, to set it up, uh, where did everything come from in terms of how you wrote it and, and you are conveying it through music? It was really in the, during the pandemic, like when it first started, well, we're still in the pandemic, but mm -hmm. <laughs> when it first started, um, you know, so many things that we were used to doing and so many things that seemed to matter, all of a sudden like didn't matter. And it's just, it's almost like we got stripped down. And mm -hmm. I realized that everything that I have that is good in my life is because of mm -hmm. Christ. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I literally, I can't even breathe without him. The air in my life, like it's all him. So there was one day I was in prayer and I was just, I was a little bit frustrated because obviously my business and, and stuff like that suffered because of the lockdown, yeah. but I didn't want to go into prayer asking him to, you know, turn things around for me. I just wanted to acknowledge him for everything that I do have. I just mm. wanted to keep gratefulness at the forefront of my mind. And literally I was praying, just praying, praying, praying. And I was like, I owe you everything, praying, praying, praying. And it just... And it literally just flowed out like water. And I grabbed my phone and I recorded what what I was hearing and what I was saying to the Lord. And, and it turned into a, a beautiful song, which is 
to date still my favorite song of mine. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Okay, it is. well, we're going to tell you. Wow. Wow. See, yeah, even before you you, you hit play, uh, okay. Patrice, because again, in listening to it, that was my question too. Like, you know, what was the season you were in? Because even if you look at some of the lyrics, you know, I lay my crown down at your feet. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, my life is yours. I pour it all before you. So it's just, it's just one of those seasons that you said you weren't asking, but it was just more of, you know, an acknowledgement. Just that yeah. exactly anything that was good in me is yours. It's so like the you. way how exactly. you exactly then the way how you went about it. So I think to even take that approach yeah. in the midst of the pandemic is definitely a shift to say, hey, you know, all this stuff is happening out there. But you know, I'm I'm grateful because I'm still yeah. here. I owe you everything. So yeah, that mm -hmm. definitely Patrice. And yeah. and and that's why too i you know when i was hearing the song i said to my like my the producer i usually use i said i don't want any of it i want to strip this thing down and mm. just guitar that's all i want i don't want any fluff i don't want anything to take away from the lyrics i don't want any distractions i just want to pour out my gratefulness you feel that from it yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely and at this time we're going to be playing everything by jennifer Rowan. Mm. What is mine that isn't yours? I owe you everything Every triumph, every joy I owe you everything for every time you heal my body, I owe you everything. Raise my soul up from the grave. I owe you everything. It's yours, God. It all belongs to you. All that's good in me originates from you. I lay my crowns down at your feet. I lay my crowns down at your feet. I offer my life, it is yours. I pour it out before you because you died. I now can live. Yeah. I owe you. The way your blood was spilled for me, I owe you everything. Yeah. Every breath I take is yours. I owe you. Before you, 
it's yours, God. It all belongs to you. Oh, that's good in me. Originates from you. You. such a blessing it felt it felt yeah. like a fresh sweet wind just or breeze coming through my soul and it just um i really literally am trying to hold back the tears because it in the simplicity of what you are um as you said you want to take all the fluff everything out of the way and it's just be it, let it be acoustic let it be authentic and yeah. Um, just, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, this God. is definitely going to be part of my um, devotion song for sure, because just mm -hmm. the way, mm -hmm. just, man, it opens your heart. And it takes yeah. your mind off of it asking for anything. It really does come yeah. to place of Thanksgiving and the simplicity exactly. of, of, of Thanksgiving and the power of Thanksgiving exactly and it just bring the renewing of the mind you know just the focusing on all that he has done because sometimes we can get caught up in what we don't have and fail to acknowledge what we do have so yes. uh, and mm -hmm. honestly this it happens for me when i listen to it too just helps me focus my mind on thanksgiving and gratefulness yes absolutely yeah, yeah that's sure. that Definitely. No, I was going to uh, give a shout out to Michael Manhurst. I saw Michael checked in on, yes. on YouTube and also London. Uh, you know, all, all your Canadian hey, peoples are coming through. <laughs> <laughs> shout hey, out. Y'all check them out. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, now yeah. we're going to go into mm -hmm. this. Uh, I don't even know what you... What, what, how... Cheryl, what, how would you... So, okay. So I'm trying to figure out how to label, how do I describe songs of the Lord? Um, it's an experience. You yeah. literally can have, you have an experience, even if you can't go and see a live show right now, because I don't know what it's like in, in, in Toronto right now in terms of being able to, you know, see, you know. Yeah, we're flying. still under restrictions. You're still under restrictions. But yeah. I promise you, you will have a full-fledged, experience with this album from start Amen. to finish in your privacy of your home with your family you know your roommate or whatever and just on those you can invite over and just say hey let's just come together and just worship and worship. have an amazing time so um let's talk about when did you decide to put these collections of songs together and what really spurred this on so songs of the lord it literally is what it's called songs of the lord every single track on that album is a song of the lord and has come mm -hmm. just prophetically in the moment i uh, i haven't sat down to write any song but they have song the songs that have flowed out in worship like live like specifically during praise and worship at like church and stuff um and so Obviously, I would get the song and build on it, but every single one of them came that way. And um, when I first started releasing music, it was such a new and weird experience for me because even though I was serving all of that time in music ministry, I never had original songs. Like, I had none. I would sit down with the intent to write music and nothing mm -hmm. would come. Um, but not until 2019, literally the the heavens of songwriting were finally opened over me and i started mm -hmm. to really hear i was able to really hear it and 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 put music together so um you know i was releasing the songs as i got them because that's one of the things the spirit of the, God, of the lord told me is that because i was trying to plan because i'm like i'm not a songwriter so if i get one song let me release it now then let me release the next one in like six months because I, I don't I don't have enough music to fill it up, but he told me, do not hoard the music. He said, I'm gonna mm. give it to you like manna. Right? Oh, That's exactly what wow. he said to me. Yeah. I'm gonna give yeah. it to you like manna. And when I said to him, okay, fine, 
then I got a whole album. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I, was, I just kept getting downloads. But all of those songs, I'm telling you, it, it, it means so much to me because I'm so honored to be the, the, the instrument that he chose to use for those songs. Because yeah. I can't even, I even feel awkward about saying that I wrote them. It's a download. I yeah. sit down and, and pen it out, you know? Um, so I told my producer, I said, look, I'd have more than one song. We can't do the, I can't be doing a single every week kind of thing. So we said, you know what, we're just going to get together. It's still on lockdown. So there was nobody there. Mm-hmm. We got together in a church, myself and my team, and we just pretty much let it rip. And that's why I was saying to you, I was shocked at how it came out because on the day of, we couldn't even hear properly. Like there was just so many things and I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But I said, however it turns out, that's what we're going with. So it's not perfect. I don't think it's perfect, especially vocally. I don't think it's my best vocal, but I don't care. <laughs> okay. I just, have to, I just have to put it out the way I heard it. That's what we did. And and messaging, I, I think, sorry, but you're going to say something. No, no, I was going to say something. For, for me, what, what I got from it, right? I got messaging i got obedience from it there was just so much that as you were listening it was one of those things that even if you let's try to explain it this way so even if you listen to one song and you're in devotions today and you go tomorrow and you listen to the next one and then the next day it can kind of take you like if you're doing a two-week devotion while you're doing something you can play part and then go right into prayer and then pick up from yeah. where you left off the next time and it's definitely mm-hmm like a prayer tool because I don't know, you know, yes. some people can pray for hours. I I can't, I, I can't sit there and pray for five, six hours. I might fall asleep or something. I'm just going to be real. You know, like I need to, mm-hmm. I need to listen to some music. I need to pray. I need to have different things that I can combine together. And I feel like for me, that definitely puts you, it, it sets the atmosphere. It puts you in that place of tranquility and you're able to repeat some of the words and the yes. phrasing and it just yeah. it, it helps you so for someone that's even now starting out in their prayer life like this here i would say is definitely a prayer tool that can aid them with certain yes. things what to say how to express yourself because sometimes yeah. you want to speak to god and just like with anything else sure you can go before him in your regular language and speaking but it also helps you to you know articulate certain things in prayer as well so that's what i basically yes, amen it. And even like for us, when we were listening back, you know, we were trying to uh, make adjustments and things like that. And sometimes just even hearing it back, I, we forget that we're supposed to be critiquing and we just end up praying because it's just like, <laughs> you, know, you get thrusted into prayer all over again. <laughs> yeah. And as I said at the, at the top of the show, this really is um, a, a, a William McDowell-esque experience. It really is um, because when you are, when you are listening to the songs and then, you know, and you said it yourself as the artists and the, you know, the background vocals, the musicians, and they're hearing it back trying to critique it, but you go straight into worship. That is the purity of worship. You're not looking to be entertained. You're looking for the experience to hear from God. And if nothing else, just to be prostrate before him without saying anything at all and just let him come through the room my word i mean that and alone. honestly i i have no words like it's i can't even put into words but the amount of testimonies that people are saying i'm talking about testimonies of sick bodies like being healed under the power of god it's not because of my voice it's it's because of the power of god mm. um so when i hear people talking about how they were being tormented in their mind and then they listen to it and a deliverance came yeah. i'm like that's what i'm here for that's that's yeah. my jam, like right there, because I know for me, I was going through one of the darkest times when we recorded that album. One of my mm-hmm. darkest times. And I'm telling you that that sound brought me loose. Okay, it broke me loose. Amen. Amen. It broke me loose. Amen. Well, I tell you what, I've, I've, uh, for those who are coming in, thank you so much to uh, everyone who's tuning in from Canada. Welcome to the Indigo Inspire Live show. Uh, with our co-host Sharon from Gospel Music Buzz. And we are here enjoying an amazing and wonderful conversation, but also the conversion experience that we're both having. We're in virtual rooms. Mm-hmm. And the fact that we can just feel 
the sweetness of God's presence is just Amen. absolutely wonderful. So I came here for those of you in case I came with mine. Now I don't know where you oh, are. Come on, we're, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. <laughs> because we are going in with only living God. Listen Amen. here. I have mine, and if you don't have one, put your hand, put hands up in there uh, in the comments. If you don't have one, but you got your hands raised, we are ready to go in right here with Only Living God. Now, this is eight minutes long, so we cannot technically play this whole thing, but we sure are going to play enough to go in. Now, I, we'll, we'll, oh, let's put it away. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. <laughs> we, we'll play enough as long as, as long as Facebook doesn't cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Only Living God by the wonderful uh, Jennifer Willen. I wish I could. I promise you I wish I could. <laughs> no, I wish I man, could. Man, man. Oh, we should have started from the rap then. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We may have to, we'll maybe we'll try to loop around there but at the at towards the end of the show. We maybe we, we'll try to come back around. Because this whole thing is just this is and that's just also too with that song, like mixing hip hop into my music is something I've never done before. But I was mm -hmm. like, this could use a little bit of heat, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I called, and back in the day, I used to be in a little band, and and I remember that um, my friend Yomi used to uh, rap, like do gospel rapping. And I was like, he would be perfect, because he, he also would come out with us for street ministry, and he mm -hmm. does church on the block. Um, mm -hmm. So... Uh, I said, Yomi, you gotta, you you gotta bring your heat to this. I I didn't hear it before the day of. I told him I didn't even want to hear it because I just knew he would bring the fire. I, the first time I heard it was when he recorded it live. Oh and wow! So he did an amazing wow. job. Wow! 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 Shout out to shout out to him. Yeah. Now, yeah. Um, my vow. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Let's unpackage mm -hmm. that. My vow. Where from what stream of recommitment did this come from? Um, it also came during praise and worship, again. Um, 
and I didn't have the whole song. We were just kind of in between songs and it just flowed out. I will worship, I'll exalt you. I will bless your name forever. And I was just singing to the Lord in that moment and you know, just encouraging the people to just recommit uh, to no matter what, giving God all the glory. That, that was pretty much where that came from. So it's like, you know, there was just sounds being played in the moment. And it, like, again, it rolled out like water. But then later on, that's when I got the verses. And I absolutely love so much Kira Patrice. Um, she's also from Toronto, a fellow worshiper. And I was like, you know what? She has a perfect voice to just pierce through. And I just wanted to partner with her on that one to get it out. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we're going to play a snippet from that cut on this mm -hmm. album, uh, Songs of the Lord and My Vow. Hallelujah. I will praise you all now, God, I'll purpose in your praise. Oh, my God. Awesome and glory, performing great wonders. We declare there's none like you. Yeah. You're the God of the breakthrough, the safe place I run to, the God who cannot fail. I declare there's none like you. What an honor just to be called your own. What a privilege to bend my knees at your throne. Who this God who made all these that we see still accepts worship from me. And I will worship. Destruction, pathways where there was none, all dead things become new. We declare there's not like you, 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 you. What an honor just to be called your own. What a privilege to bend my knees at your throne. This God who made all things that we see still accept worship from me. Come on, you're raising now. Somebody in the class say, I will, I will, I will exalt you. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. We could be still. We could stay here all night. We could, but we can't. You know, we are. <laughs> oh man. I know it. I know. It. But how you can have the whole thing and the whole experience by going right onto every digital outlet and purchasing this project 
Okay. As, yeah. As a matter of fact, gift this album, buy one for yourself, and gift it to someone who could use some encouragement tonight or even in the weeks and months to come. So, I mean, just. And especially, to, too, I yeah. was going to say, especially, too, during this season, a lot of times, you know, with fasting and praying, I know my church is still going on yeah. here, week three. Yes of fasting and praying and a lot of you know a lot of it just happening so definitely this is something you know can be suggested can be played you know at your church different yeah. places like just 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 get it out there man you know y'all download it stream it but i always say download it first buy it first and then you stream it mm -hmm. after. just 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 buy it first because yes. you know and, and <clears throat> for everyone else that that join in after you know, with the ministry that, that Jennifer and team is doing with giving out Bibles and tracts and all of that. And Jennifer, I want you to touch on in a little bit, you know, if someone wants to be, you know, to give into that, someone wants to sow a seed into what you're doing, you know, how they can go about doing that as well too in a little bit. But but yeah. definitely these these songs, you know, when you're in that place, when you just want to be ministered to, when you want to go before the throne room, mm -hmm. when you just want to go before the king of kings these are songs that can help you to get there for sure and then a quick uh quick shout out i see daniel oljo as well there from psalmist records daniel is in hey, the family. room <laughs> gospel cafe tv man in nigeria it's like 2 30 right now in nigeria almost 3 a.m <laughs> and he's rocking with us too so yeah so shout, shout out to you as well too gospel cafe tv by hanging with us brianna one the one half of flojic amazing sister duo group so every, everyone is here we appreciate you guys hanging with us and just listening and vibing out and hearing jennifer's amazing story so far absolutely absolutely and we are really having a wonderful time with jennifer tonight jennifer i mean i when pandemic no pandemic you, you've got to come to the states that's just <laughs> amen a, well actually jennifer weren't you here in i will be december in but you were here. Did you did no, you make that trip cancel, in December? I had to cancel oh. those days. So the next one okay, that I got okay. coming up is will be in May, because our travel restrictions kicked back in as well. So ah, gotcha. Yeah. I thought you. I, I, for some reason, <laughs> so I was looking we're, to we're, see. We're, we're trusting okay. and believing God for May. I, I am scheduled to be in Chicago. I believe that's where it is. May seventh. Okay. So oh, nice, all being nice. well, I will be there. Well, awesome. well then, and the next time you make your New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia, you know, part of the leg, you know, we we're gonna be there. <laughs> well, yeah, we're absolutely. gonna be there, front sure. and center, pretty loud. You're sure. gonna you you're gonna know we're there. Absolutely, sure. absolutely. So, Jennifer, um, how can people follow you on social media for those who um, are just hearing and meeting you for the first time? Um, how can they connect with you? On Instagram, you can find me at Jennifer Lewin underscore official. On the Facebook and YouTube, it's just Jennifer Lewin Music. And awesome. and Jennifer yeah. also too. I wanted to make sure we, you know, we still got some time. I wanted to make well, yeah. sure we touched on ascend with Jennifer because I know you know you've mm. been God has been ascending you and taking you to different levels. You know, you're out there on the streets. You know, you're not, not in a bad way, guys. <laughs> She's doing street ministry. Let me please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, can we please set this record straight? Let's, Let's make sure no one comes back and sue this me. Is a Let me make show. sure no one sues me because you know yeah, Jennifer know. is doing good. evangelism on the street. Mm -hmm. And then you know, yeah. God also opened up this television ministry here, you know, mm. with a sense. So tell us about that. When does it come on? You know, what is the you know the show about and so forth? Just dig into that a little bit for us. So Ascend is on KITV, and KITV is uh, a digital network. So you can find it on uh, Google Play or uh, iTunes. You can download the app. And from that, app, the thing I love about the KITV app is that you can even find like 24-hour worship channels. Like, mm -hmm. and I mean, a wide variety of different worship artists and different ministries that you could be blessed by. Um, so Ascend comes on at 8.30 on Mondays, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. And uh, so far, it's just been uh, just a laid back conversations about the goodness of God, about people's their testimonies about healing, about deliverance. Uh, there's some episodes coming up that talks about like financial freedom, education, fitness, lifestyle. So we, we're going to cover quite a bit um, on a send because we just want 
to talk, just have conversation. It's not too yeah. stuffy. And um, we've been given the privilege to minister to people as well, even in the moment. So God is definitely doing something uh, brand new, especially for me, because I'm not really much of a talker. You know, I'm not a preacher or anything like that. But um, he just opened up the door for uh, for us to share the gospel in a different uh, mediums. And we're grateful well, for it. I, I would actually, you know, stand to correct you slightly if I may, because you might say you're not much of a talker, but I say, you know, you, you're easy to talk to. And, and mm -hmm. by that is because, you know, yes. you're 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 a good listener so as you're listening and others are talking and even going back and looking at some of the stuff that you also did as well too you know the conversation just flows it just flows it's yeah, just it does you know flow. and, it's fun it's just ministry it's just it everything in there yeah stuffy yeah i didn't want to be stuffy so like i don't even use notes i don't practice my questions because i don't want to be like okay so what's the next question okay number two so the, no let's just flow let's just talk as if the cameras are not even there you know yeah. just sharing about his goodness testifying to his goodness and the beautiful thing about testifying is that it's not just for the people who hear it because the scripture says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word yes. of our testimony but yes. i believe that overcoming continuously takes place even while we hear what god has done in mm -hmm. our own lives so yes. it's just a, a beautiful thing to to share of his goodness and to share on that kind of platform that's yeah, you know that's international yeah. it's it's in many many countries so we give god the glory yeah and they have an amazing studio because i've seen some of the bts you know stories mm. and such you did with panning through the studio it looks like an amazing studio yeah. so def definitely it's, for it's sure. really amazing and the way That's god like opened up that opportunity was amazing too because i went there for an interview and the gentleman who was interviewing me was like oh there's something on you and we're gonna put together a, like a show for you i was like me no 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 no, no. i was like <laughs> No, I'm a singer, singer, you know? <laughs> um, so it's not even something I wanted to do off the bat because yeah. yeah. it's out, really outside of my comfort zone. But uh, I see God is stretching me and he's He's acknowledging my territory. So I'm just going to go with it. So you say, so you have, you have one plan and God's like, eh, we're, we're, we're going to still sing, but we're also going to do this. We're going to do evangelism. We're, so we're going to do, do this. this. We're going to yeah. do this. And he just keeps adding it on because, you know, if you're faithful with a little, he keeps adding, he keeps trusting you with more and more. Yeah. So, you know, we're definitely, you it's know, so happy to see all that God is doing in and through you, through your ministry, through your music, just everything in a holistic 360 view. And again, back to uh, Patrice's uh, question in terms of the followings, you can list again, you know, in a second where, yes. you know, others can follow the journey that you're, that you're on right now. But I think one thing I want to, one question I wanted to ask that we probably didn't get a chance to touch it as a as a minister, as an independent artist, like how mm -hmm. important it is that what you're given, what you're doing, that you basically present excellence in all mm -hmm. things. Because mm -hmm. you mentioned before, you're not yeah. going to rush the release single, 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 but you're going to take your time with it. You're going to ensure it's packaged well you can ensure mm. it's presented well because even your graphics or colors because i'm oh, big yeah. on, i'm big on graphics i'm big yes. on graphics oh, i'm motions, very big just, on graphics just, just shout out stonehouse media <laughs> <laughs> okay just, just, just presentation yes. in, yeah. in general but you know your team you know everything that is released from the colors to the music the graphical content like it's just spot on so touch a little bit about that as an independent artist like how important it is to keep that level that is on par with a lot of the majors to be honest it's it's so important because we serve an excellent god right yes and anything that we offer him you know when they were offering sacrifices in the old testament they were not allowed to offer the lamb or calf that you know had mm, one eye yes, or yeah. had a broken leg or anything like mm -hmm. that they were they were offering god their best mm -hmm. and as an independent artist obviously i don't have the budget of uh you know as someone who is signed you know but the reality is he has set the provision so that I can give him the best of what i have yeah. and uh we live in a very you know visual world and it things have to be pleasing to the eye so although the visuals are not my main focus it is very important to me for like the graphics and stuff like that the things surrounding the music to look good and to just represent him well 
because when I represent him well, then I am represented well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I just want to give him my best every time. And it won't necessarily be perfect, but it will be excellent. Love, love it, love it. Absolutely, absolutely. So we've got, I mean, people have been coming through this room here. I'm looking at the comments and stuff. And really, once again, shout out to uh, our Canadian uh, cohorts and family out there who and who are really su- supportive of Jennifer. And uh, thank you so much for being here on the show. Um, Jennifer, before we close, I um, want you to pour out into this, that one person who even right now or even will watch the replay, they won't even know how they stumbled across this video mm-hmm. that will just touch their hearts and pique their curiosity about the God that you know, the God that you serve. And um, so we want to give you the opportunity to do so. To be honest, I just wanted to send a word of encouragement to anyone who's watching who knows for sure that God has called them to do something, but in their own mind, it seems like it's so in- insignificant. I just wanted to encourage that one, that it doesn't matter how insignificant your gift may seem to you. There are literally people waiting out there for you to actually say yes to what God has called you to do. And I just want you to keep your eyes focused on him and your assignment. Because when we look to the left and to the right, we will naturally dilute what we have with what we are seeing. So I want to encourage that one who is questioning, God, did you really call me? Did you, are you sure? Yeah, he did call you. Mm-hmm. And he called you for something so unique. He called you for something as unique to you as your fingerprint. Don't get caught up in what you're seeing. Because social media, although it's an amazing tool, it can be such a distraction. And then yeah. imposters can come up out of nowhere in the kingdom and, and mm-hmm. counterfeits. And I hear God saying in this season to be authentic. And I'm, I'm not saying that from a self-help, you know, self-help standpoint. I'm not trying to give you a motivational speech, but really be authentically you and be exactly who he has called you to be. Because for, before the foundation of the world were framed, he knew you and called you specifically. And I, I will never try to be anybody else but Jennifer, because if I'm not being Jennifer, then who is? Mm, my God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want to encourage you today that that he has called you and that he's called you specifically for, for this time. He's such a strategic and sovereign mm. God. He doesn't yeah. make any mistakes. And even the hardships that you go through, the failures, even the sin for crying out loud, it's all working together to bring him the glory. And I just want to encourage you that even if you have fallen, just get back up. None of us are perfect. None of us have it all together. Yeah. But yeah. he's called you for something amazing. He's called you for something unique. And he's called you for something that has only your name on it. So I just want to encourage all those out there that are probably grappling with whether or not I am called, whether or not I am chosen. You are chosen, says the Lord. You are called, says the Lord. You are special and unique, says the Lord. And he's yeah. waiting for your yes. Wow. My God. Wow. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Wow. Yeah. Well, Jennifer, we want to thank you so much for being here on Indigo Inspired Life. It has blessed us. Me. I mean, we we can't thank we you. came. If nobody else was going to come, you know, we came here with expectancy and it is, and our hearts were blessed having you here tonight. And, um, you know, as promised, we, you know, we got time. We're going to go ahead and just pray that the other hook on the end of, um, of the, of the song. But in the meantime, Hey, everybody take, please take the opportunity to like us here on social media. Hey, social media right now is the way that we can connect with one another and it brings us together as a global family. And so we are uh, Cheryl from Gospel Music Buzz, as well as myself from Indigo Inspire. We are so excited to be able to collaborate as together, but also to engage with you as well. So, hey, take that opportunity to like us on our social media, as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube. Uh, Gospel Music Buzz also has a YouTube channel as well. So please go there and subscribe and support and we and support our independent artists that are putting amazing projects out there with excellence and really are seeking the heart of God to share with the world. So we're going to take a, an opportunity to kind of revisit. Oh, here we go. Only living God. We're going to try and we're just going to go out with this. <laughs> well, Patrice, real quick, before we before we go out with that, I want yeah. to also give Jennifer a quick moment for, she did mention before, 
the work that they're doing if anyone want to be able to kind of yes. give and so into what you guys are doing right now you know whether they want to buy x amount of bibles or whatever it is like how can they give into that ministry yes on my uh my website jennifer ministries.com there is a tab uh where you can sow seed um so jennifer lewin ministries.com www.jenniferlewinministries.com you'll find on the website a tab where you can sow and we give god glory for your seed and we thank you for your seed in advance and we say that your basket will always be full you will always have seed because he gives seed to the sower in jesus name awesome amazing and we'll also share it too in our other platforms just to make sure we get that out there yes Thanks yep i lot. just put it in the chat here for everybody to see that and uh before we sign it we're just gonna worship just a little bit more tonight all right let's do it Mighty, you're movable, unshakable, and there is no breaking the one who's unbreakable. Why do you know why the devil keep on reaching me, humping me, bleeding? Yes, for me, it's paid in full. Be the only one that I'm okay to do. I'm too unbothered to care what a hater do. I'm too with amazement because he's been amazing since back in the days. And all through the ages, I love the debate, but there's no debating. He's worthy of glory and my adoration. They say that I'm mostly, but he is the bread of life. the baloney. The angels and elders are crying out, holy. I'm hashtagging y'all with this is not my little pony, my God alive and he died for the homies I'm just trying to tell you the things that he told me But open your eyes up and see what he told me He's reigning with power, dominion, and he is omniscient So keep your opinion, he can't be set prison The truth of the king, he gets you up and she out He's calling a pony, I'm not a biggest He's bigger than biggie, no I'm not a biggie I'm just trying to pick it, it's making me dizzy Just thinking about it, I can't imagine what I'll be without him The way to salvation, if he wasn't allowed Don't know about you, but I can't do without him Just get it. That's all we can tell you. Just get the project up. Just, <clears throat> just get the project. Jennifer Lewin, thank Amen. you so much. We will see you in the States. I promise yes, you. We'll see yes, you in the yes. We're going to make Jennifer, this happen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank name, you. We're going to make this happen. So anyway, everybody, on, on behalf of uh, Sherwin from Gospel Music Buzz, and myself, Patrice Delisser, host of the Indigo Inspire Live Show, for the collab, we thank you so much for being a part of this worship night this experience and what do we always leave you with it's not just a vibe here baby it's a whole mood have a great night <laughs> thank you guys so much for having me. god bless you